let's start with you. Tell me about where your love and your passion for sports broadcasting started. Yeah, I always knew that I wanted to work in sports. I grew up dancing and I just love the competitive edge of um, the team atmosphere and just having that mentality. Um, I knew that I always wanted to work in sports. I started in college um, with the UNLV School of Journalism and my kind of introduction to play by play happened after the fact I knew that I wanted to do um, reporting and broadcasting originally thought for sure just sideline reporting but I started interning fairly early in my collegiate career um, with the Northwoods League which is a summer collegiate league in Wisconsin and then um, on the Cape with the Cape Cod Baseball League as well and that's kind of where the play by play took off it wasn't something that I ever really um, imagined for myself or had on my radar but I had some really awesome broadcast partners um, during that internship kind of turn to me and, and say that we think that you should trust your baseball eyes and, and take the play-by-play -play. and um, a little bit terrified I did I always say yes to opportunities but um, ran with it from there and, and love the challenge of play-by-play -play and just the different eyes that you um, are able to have on the field and, and kind of bringing the game to life so it's been an, an unconventional path but baseball and sports was always the constant for me knowing that I wanted to work in that might have been an unconventional path but now it's turned into a historic one congratulations uh of recently within this MLB season you were a part of the first ever female broadcast team to call multiple innings for the Red Sox describe that day describe that moment for you it was surreal and one that I still kind of describe as feeling numb um, when I think about it and just the whole experience of it. Um, when you get into broadcast and you get into this industry, that's always the goal, um, much like the players is to make it to the big leagues and to have that major league moment. And being that I just graduated from college last season, it was one that felt surreal to be coming so soon and to have that opportunity um, and to hopefully also uh, kind of open a door maybe for another little girl that just really loves the magic of baseball more than anything and to have that visual of knowing that it's possible but for me it was a surreal moment and one that I've dreamed of for so long just being able to sit down and put on a headset and look down at Fenway Park and to be able to call a major league game for um, the affiliate that I've been working for for the last two years to be able to do it with the Boston Red Sox I think was a dream come true. How did that come together? And when they did ask you, what was that experience like for you? Yeah, so a big part of um, kind of the job and the position that I have with the Sea Dogs right now, it's uh, the AA affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. So we get to see all the up and coming prospects for that system. And, and a big part of the job also is being their media relations contact and the PR for the team. So typically we'll get a ton of um, emails for interview requests for our prospects. And we got an email one day um, from Nesson and they reached out and we just kind of thought it was another interview request for one of our guys. But we read a little bit farther down and and saw that they actually wanted us to come down to Fenway and to be a part of their broadcast, uh, which was just so surreal being on that other side um, and us having to do media scrums. It was never anything that I ever imagined uh, we would be in the shoes of. Usually we're on that side as well. So it was just one of those things where um, it kind of really shocking and exciting and um, just exciting, nervous, all the emotions at once, but uh, definitely an opportunity um, that we were so grateful to have and, and to experience. Congratulations again, Riley. I mean, from one sports journalist, aspiring sports journalist to make it to that major league moment, to your point, to another, congratulations. That is Thank super, you. super cool that you were able to experience that. You mentioned it so early on out of college. You graduated from UNLV. You were on the Palm team there. Um, what was that experience like and how did your experience at UNLV and really just growing up in Las Vegas positively impact you uh, and help you kind of just catapult yourself to this place? UNLV now is especially really neat because it's becoming such a sports city and you're seeing that kind of wave and excitement um, kind of just propelled throughout the city. So I think it was something cool in my collegiate years, graduating last spring, um, starting to see that kind of all come to life. I'm a Las Vegas native, born and raised and love that coast and love the city and, and just the buzz and excitement that is behind that town and, and the um, 
the wanting to win, I think, is something that is so unique um, for the Las Vegas Valley. So for me, it was just a ton of just getting involved in the opportunities that were around the Valley, um, interning with different leagues as well, interning with UNLV Athletics. It was a huge piece in my development, got to work pretty exclusively with the um, UNLV SID for baseball and their communications department. And she really just kind of threw me in there and um, let me get my hand in whatever it was that I wanted to experience in, um, being a PA announcer for the team, doing some social media, graphics, really anything that could help uh, me kind of reach those goals were opportunities that I was able to get at UNLV. So I think that was a huge part, just getting your hand in, in whatever you could and, and having um, those opportunities to really grow in the industry and then um, look outward as well and, and see the opportunities in the sports industry right now. When you were talking about being a part of this historic moment with the Red Sox and saying, you know, maybe someday or maybe in that moment, a little girl was watching me and thought, hey, I could do this. I could pursue this career path. To your point, what is your advice to little boys, little girls out there, not only locally, but um, whoever decides to watch our interview um, on just continuing to pursue your dreams, despite maybe it not being the most conventional dream. I think I've been so fortunate too to have so many awesome men that I've worked with in the industry that have believed in me and seen things in me um, and, and never made me feel like an outlier in that regard at all. So I think um, it's just always saying yes to opportunities, whether they scare you a little bit or not, just having um, that desire to just say yes and um, to kind of take those opportunities head on and believe in the people that believe in you, I think is huge. Uh, and, and just knowing that there are so many avenues right now in, in the sports industry for whoever you are to uh, be involved in, and to have a place in the game. So I would say um, just believe in yourself and, and definitely don't say no to any opportunity and, and take that challenge head on. Last question, your goal. What is your ultimate dream uh, dr dream goal that you wanna accomplish in your career? I would love to work in the major leagues long-term. Um, major League Baseball has always kind of been my goal and, and seeing that growing up and, and just the excitement of uh, going to games and, and crossing uh, fields off my bucket list, things like that, and just experiencing the magic of it. I think um, my end goal for sure would be to work for a major league team, MLB Network, um, hosting, sideline reporting, doing some play-by-play, -play, uh, just any way to stay involved in the game I think would be awesome. But um, definitely just to work in sports, it's a dream of mine and, and definitely something that I don't take for granted, getting to watch sports every day. Um, I can't get it much better than that. Well, Riley, I am rooting for you. Uh, congratulations again. I can't wait to see you, uh, you know, calling games regularly for the Red Sox or an MLB team, whether that be sideline reporting, hosting uh, in the broadcast booth, you name it. Uh, so I wish you the best of luck.